be able to hear the word of God translated into a way that makes sense for my everyday life keeps me going. And especially during this time of uh, pandemic, and as our wonderful Becky Lowy said, we're running on this uh, map without GPS. You know, we just had to you know, pick up and do something. And the fact that this church turned on a dime and put phenomenal services online and kept us together and kept us hopeful during this time. And while we're not out of this entirely, we've been able to remain together in many ways in this very stressful time. We um, were at a crucial time in our parish. It's not a critical time, thanks to all the good works of so many people here. Our finances are in good shape. We've held together as a community. Our buildings and grounds have literally never looked better. We have wonderful people in the pulpit. We're in good shape. But we are looking for someone new to chart a course for us. And as we know, we keep our rectors about 20 years. <laughs> this is a fairly substantial um, decision that we are about to make. So they're, they're, those people who are applying for the job, or will be applying for the job, will put their best face forward. We are going to be doing the same thing. We want to show that we are an intact congregation, that we are a congregation that is willing to grow and move and change and to answer the questions that arise today in our society. So I have always pledged. I came from a family, an Episcopal family. My father was always in charge of stewardship, so I know that it's important that the bills are paid. But not that the, just the bills are paid, that we can do more, that we can give to the community, that we can offer a space and wonderful opportunities for people to grow. For me personally, I really enjoy the educational opportunities. I love the preaching, like we heard today. I love the Monday Journey Group, which is this wonderful group of women that have just sustained me through all of these times. I love the Sunday morning um, educational opportunities. For many people, the music is what brings them to St. Paul, and they absolutely love that. So for whatever reason it is that you are drawn to St. Paul's, there is something here for you, and that is a phenomenal thing. So yes, I'm gonna give a substantial pledge to St. Paul's this year. I want us to put our best foot forward. I want us to continue to have wonderful preaching, teaching, and educational opportunities, music opportunities for the community. Because let's face it, where else can you go and get what we have to give here? Thank you. Mm -hmm.